Servus und grüß dich miteinander. Hi everybody, my name is Dieter von Schura. I am the owner of the Artelino Company. We sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. And the topic of today's video is something a bit unusual. I want to talk about the drawbacks of Artelino, the weak points of Artelino. You think I'm crazy? Uh, everybody praises his company and tells you we have the finest prints, we have the best service, we are the greatest uh, and we are the biggest volume sellers all over the world for this and, and, and that. And you are talking about the drawbacks. I think it makes no sense to tell you we are the best. You wouldn't believe us anyway. It's better you know where the real disadvantages are and then you can decide much better, okay, can I live with that or not? Okay, what is the major drawback of Artelino? I can wrap it up in one word. Our shipments outside the European Union and especially to the United States, our major market are slow. Watch my lips, they are slow. How slow? Don't slow. Okay, and why? I am not going to explain you and I'm telling you why I cannot change much about that. Well, where are we located? In a wonderful landscape in Bavaria in southern Germany. Okay, it's beautiful there. And shipments to France, Italy, no problem, but Japan, Australia, outside the European Union, and as I said before, especially North America, that is slow. Well, how do we ship? We ship by National Postal Service. What's that, National Postal Service? Well, in the USA it's USPS, in Germany it's DHL, it's your good old post office. And when we have to send something outside the European Union that has a value of more than a thousand euro, so that's roughly more than eleven hundred dollars. We need special export documents. That's just a bureaucratic um, act for statistical reasons, N nothing to worry uh, about for you. But it's a delay of roughly two days. We have to apply for that and two days later, two work days later, okay, we can print the documents from the internet. Okay, well then we ship, oh, go down to the post office. Uh, e the packages are brought to a hub in Frankfurt and from there into the airplane heading for the US. Okay, and DHL hands it over to USPS it first goes to a hub in the US, a hub where it's screened for security and um, for taxes. But don't worry, okay, there are no taxes on your prints that you buy from Ortolino when you are in the US. Um, the Americans are no idiots. They've never obstructed the import of artworks into the United States. And therefore, you guys in the US, you have the greatest art museums today in the world. I want to mention just one, the Bonds collection. Bonds bought with his checkbook in the 1920s, a huge collection, and he was not the only one. So, no restrictions at all, but slow. Okay, and now comes the slowest point, and that is USPS. USPS is simply slow. How slow? Well, overall from us to you, it could take up to four weeks. Even four weeks are nothing to worry. The shipments to the East Coast are a little bit faster. California is the slowest. So roughly from one week to four weeks. Okay. My friends, at this point, you could ask, why then don't you take another ship or why do you have 
to transport by uh, DHL and USPS and by the, the post office. Quite simple. FedEx could be there in two days, two, three days, but it costs an arm and a leg. Well, these commercial shippers, when you have certain quantities, and we have them, they give you huge discounts. Nevertheless, you would never pay these shipment costs, and we cannot subsidize that from our commission. Impossible. So there's nothing we can change about that. Our shipments, especially to the United States, are slow. Now comes the good point. They are slow, but they are reliable. We've been shipping now for nearly 20 years, and I know USPS in the USA doesn't have a very good reputation, but in our experience of 20 days, very reliable. We hardly ever have any loss or any damage. And even in the worst case, okay, we have insurance, but you wouldn't have any fuss by not filling out any forms or anything like that. We would uh, reimburse you um, completely by Ortolino and afterwards, if it's a higher amount, okay, we would use our uh, insurance. Well, to wrap it up, when you bid in an Ortolino auction, please have some patience. Our shipments outside the European Union are slow. Okay, uh, in advance, thank you for your patience and thank you for watching this video. And I would be happy to see you for the next video. Goodbye and have a nice week.